I know you were a supporter of the Green Act. It didn't get uh, passed by the Senate. And what are your feelings in regards to the Dream Act and trying to come together with, without the, the venom from either side to get to a, a compromise on, on, on dealing with immigration? Because in the instance of the Dream Act, you have children who were probably not born in this country, but you know they came over here like you know two weeks old. They're they're in any in every sense they are Americans, but they're they're being denied higher education and you know if they go to college they're going to be productive in this country not some other country so just your opinions on the dream act in general yep um i mean as you know i co-sponsored the dream act i was a, a real supporter and it's to, to me it feels like the least we can do i was a little hesitant to spot co-sponsor the dream act because i actually what i really want to see is i want to see a, a comprehensive you know just deal with one little sliver. That happens to have been a pretty easy sliver to deal with, right? Think about what the DREAM Act said. Kids who came here through no fault of their own illegally because of their parents' actions, who agreed to get a degree or to join the armed services. I mean, why should this be hard? Passed the House, did not get taken up in the Senate, so evidently it's hard, which reflects the fact that I fear that the even harder stuff, like what does an earned path to citizenship look like for for an illegal alien, uh, that discussion is is just awful, mm. and it and it really bothers me. Like guns, it really bothers me because the issue gets demagogued. You know, it it, it plays to people emo to people's emotions. You know, the illegals are taking your jobs. Not true. You know, they're on they're on government welfare. Not true. You know, um, it's a problem that needs to be solved. And and and. George W. Bush, again, I'm not in the business of complimenting George W. Bush, but he had a reasonable proposal. McCain was on board, but mm -hmm. the right wing of their party decided to demagogue the issue, and so we got the worst of all worlds, right? We got 12 million-ish people who are undocumented, living in the shadows, and no certainty, not particularly secure borders. So and McCain flip-flopped on it, too. McCain flip-flopped on it. Well, and, and also we have, you know, again, being from Danbury, we have programs that, you know, I'm very much against such as the, the 287G ICE access program that gives, you know, local municipalities the ability to enforce immigration law. We see in Arizona that doesn't work out very well. Um, you keep talking about enforcement, but anytime we want to talk about, you know, fixing the immigration system in any way whatsoever, we hear from the far right, amnesty immediately. And we can't get, be it, it seems that we've been talking about this for a number of years, we can't get beyond the, the rhetoric and the misinformation to the point where we can really have a conversation about immigration. And, and for instance, how about the kids who, who qualify under the DREAM Act? Because I feel that it doesn't make any sense for them to be punished for things they had no control of whatsoever. It falls into a category of things of trying to affect the political dialogue using fear, right? And there's a lot of category, a lot of these things that should be solvable fall into that category. 33 clip ammo thing, right? The next thing they're going to take away your shotgun. Baloney, right? Death panels. Remember death panels, right? This was a proposal to reimburse doctors through Medicare for having voluntary discussions on end of life. Which a Republican senator actually initiated. But those become death panels. And, and the same deal with immigration. I mean, here you got a group of people who are here in this country illegally, but for no other reason than to work uh, and send money home to wherever home is. Um, and uh, yet there are people who, you know, say these are criminals and they're taking our welfare and they're taking your job because fear motivates people. And it's, it's a real shame because there is a, the fact that George Bush, John McCain, Al Gore and Barack Obama could come to an agreement around a table indicates that there's just a clear, a, a clear and reasonable solution. But as long as it's demagogue, people aren't gonna back it. So how do we get beyond this? How do we tackle fear? How can people like yourself and other congressmen tackle and combat this fear and so we can stop? Because in my opinion, my, my dad always taught me that, you know, a misinformed individual makes unwise choices when it, time, when it comes to vote. Um, the low information vote is the worst thing you can have. What can we do to combat this fear so we can get to a point where we can talk about things such as immigration reform? Or we have a real conversation about health care reform without the fear-mongering and misinformation getting in the way of things. Mm -hmm. 
I think everybody can do more. Elected officials can be more courageous about putting the facts out there and about being strong uh, on leadership rather than waffling or being fearful of speaking clearly on issues. So I think it's on us a little bit. I think it's on the media a little bit. You know, I remember watching the you know the lead up to the Iraq War and, and other issues. You know. Bill says the moon is made of green cheese, and Joe says the moon's not made of green cheese. We're just reporting. You decide. Uh, folks, the moon is not made of green cheese. I mean, there is a point at which the media can step in and say, this is just out and out false. I think the media can do more of that. And then, uh, you know, people are susceptible to fear when the economy's in rough shape. You know, it's just there's more emotion, there's more anxiety. I do think that as the economy recovers, uh, we'll, we'll see the fear and the anxiety tone down a little bit and um, you know people each individual I think most Americans are fundamentally kind of commonsensical um, you know can be more critical and reject um, dialogue and ideas which are which are non-factual